Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your reading. What do we got? What do we got? What is your blind spot, Sag? My sweet little end of the zodiac fire sign. Saving the best for last. Are you the best fire sign? Kind of hurt to say that because I'm an Aries. Like, are you the best fire sign? You guys are pretty the bomb. I have to say, I really like Sag. I find Sag is to be like, if anything, the most gentle of the fire signs. So sweet. Everyone that I've met is really, really sweet. Really sweet. So let's get started. So for your energy oracle deck, blind spot for Sagittarius. What is in the blind spot for Sagittarius? Oh my god, really? That's an awful lot. Like, okay, that's there. <laughs> <sighs> Come on, this is going to be my last one for the day. I was going to do Capricorn tomorrow. <laughs> like, okay, it's the last one. You got to be like, I'm um, one, two, three, four, five, six cards. Six? Like, how many readings do you want at once? <laughs> okay, we have a woman holding a coin. Angel of Balance. Door to value. That goes nice with the angel holding, or the angel, the angel holding a coin. <laughs> yeah, they use money up in heaven, right? Contract. My goodness. The door to spirit. And community. Holy cow. What's the bottom? The angel of strength. <laughs> You're gonna need, I'm going to need my strength to get through this reading. The Angel of Strength. Okay. I have never had so many, <laughs> more than anyone here. Woman holding a coin. Angel of Balance and the door to value in the contract. Right away, that just yells at me like something is coming your way in terms of money. <laughs> Big time. The, the universe is balancing something that has been in ba out of balance for you. It's been out of balance. It feels very monetary. The contract, this contract card has come around a couple times this week. Um, perhaps there's something that needed to be finalized. Maybe you're selling a house and it finally closes and you get the money out of it. May, oh, I'm also getting an interesting message that maybe you sold something and you've been waiting for the commission. That's coming, like there's some sort of balance here that's really meant for you with the contract. Something to do with work or um, a marriage or a divorce. Definitely. The door to spirit with community. I think once this happens, it actually frees you up to, to really be on your own spiritual journey. It just really frees you up and it gets you out and about. Out and about. <laughs> You've had a lot of strength up to this point with whatever's been going on. Yeah, I'm really intrigued by this woman holding a coin. And I put this first in the lineup because the other cards kind of fell here and this one sat here more on its own. So it seemed more prominent. Like it somehow is the catalyst that gets everything going here. I want a card just for the woman holding a coin. From the tarot. This is a catalyst or something. I don't know if you're dealing with um I want to say it's likely a, a woman because there is a man holding a coin too in this deck and it's the, the most female so I don't know if you have a female boss or you're dealing with a female lawyer or you're dealing with a spouse a woman holding a coin it could even be a motherly figure. Someone is bringing some money towards you, an inheritance. So many things coming in my head with this one. Woman holding a coin. Tell us more about the woman holding a coin. It's victory. Okay, well, there you go. It's the six of wands. It's victory. However that plays out, whether it's victory and something you were dealing with with this person. They could be um, an earth sign as well, because it's a coin, it's a pentacle, it could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's a victory, or this person will find victory for you. 
And once this, it's almost like once this three-dimensional contract is finalized, like in the 3D here, then it opens you up energetically to your deeper spiritual journey. That's nice. With a bit of extra cash in your pocket. That's nice. All right, so let's see what else comes out. That's like a whole reading in itself. So what are these cards going to tell us? See the fool? Swords, temperance, everything freaking upside down. Um, the Ten of Wands. Wow, you've been through something. Okay, let me show you what you got. I'm going to show it to you in twos. You have the Fool card with the Six of Swords. Um, Getting yourself somewhere better. Taking a leap of faith just to go into a better energy. Just to get, try to get yourself into a better place. Not really knowing where you're going because you're not in a good place. You haven't been or something's going on here. Because you have the Five of Cups and the Five of Swords. Something's been split in half here. Look at the worm has been split in half with the Five of Swords. And the horse. This is that poor old horse that thought they were getting out of the barn and they never did. Like really disappointed, disappointed. Um, oh, it's almost like the only way to get freedom was to split it in half. It could be a divorce. It's really weird how strong that's coming in. Like the only way to get freedom here was to split it in half because the worm is literally cut in half. And there's a contract here. It's, and then we have temperance with the, the 10 of wands. <clears throat> This has been very difficult to release, this energy. This has been uh, a struggle. I want to say tears. I want to say anxious sweats. <laughs> I want to say like it's, it's hard. Heartburn, indigestion. I don't know, maybe diarrhea, but let's not go there. I'm just getting all of that with this card. I'm getting all of that. I'm getting like the, the water that's dripping off. Like after coming out of everything being split in half, and then this Ten of Wands, this final release, to get to this final release, it's almost like you had to physically pur purge. has been like something coming out this week. You're this third. The third one's to get purge. And it's funny, you couldn't get it out of the card that it's come out because I stopped using that deck this week. It was exhausting me. It was starting to exhaust me. I needed a different deck. Um, it is like a purge, like almost like a physical purge here. Like sweating... Um, upset stomach, I don't know, like really, like physically, this bird, it's been really hard on you. Oh my goodness. I feel like you need a hug. You, need a, you know what? It's going to be better. It's going to get better. The angel of balance is here to open up the door to spirit for you. Oh yeah, it's been, and then the nine of wands is at the bottom. Like that's, you know, kind of at your last straw. Ah. <sighs> The wounded warrior oh my god it's been a long climb climbing that staircase it seems like holy cow but you know you climb the staircase and this is kind of like you know like sweating it out crying it out burning it out that's all you know i'm getting all this like as you're climbing this stair you know what i love i don't usually read in reverse oh that's great i love that the devil is upside down in the bottom it's like that turn that shit up it's <laughs> like i got to the top all this, you know, energy that was consuming me, that was holding me, uh, hanging on to me, uh, flushing to the toilet. Because look at, oh, it just gets better. The Mother of Cups is under that. She's totally upright. And then, and then the Sun card comes in after that, totally upright. So you've earned it, though. Oh, my gosh, you've earned it. It literally looks like you've earned it. Oof, she's that stuff. Okay, let's see what tarot cards come out underneath these ones. Wow. Okay, 
to go underneath each one of these. Swords is at the bottom. Really trapped here. Trapped in your trapped in your identity, I'm getting with this. Trapped in the concept of your identity. Having to rebuild your identity. That's why this temperance is such a heavy energy. Having to rebuild your identity almost like. God, this feels so painful. The, the fool with the seven of swords. The six of swords with the seven of wands. This is interesting. The five of cups with the hierophant. And the hierophant is number five in the major arcana. So it is two fives. It's almost like the only thing that got you out of this, that, you know, pushed you through it, was um, the connection with yourself and something higher, something greater than yourself. Like, they're literally getting the message like you could not have done this without something higher than yourself. And it's, isn't that funny? Because sometimes, like, we can go through life without having really any faith in anything. Or just believing that we have con full control and power over our lives and everything that's going to happen around us. And then, like, th the whole world can fall apart. And then you can kind of see, like, why, why, why? Why me? But then you can start to see little aspects within that why me of, wow, I feel like I was kind of protected in this element. Or I feel like the universe had my back a tiny bit over here. or Because this could have gone, like, everything could have just gone really, really bad. But there was some sort of like a little bit of hope here that, you know, the angel shone through. Because if this is that bad to release, you never should have had it in the first place, probably. At least you shouldn't have it in this place. Maybe it made sense at some point in life, but this is really heavy. This is a very, very, very heavy release. The Five of Swords with the Six of Cups. This is like... This is like someone who is your soulmate and it's just being cut. It was just cut. Temperance and the Six of Swords. Sure, I'm just looking for little details there. Temperance and the Six of Swords. I think at some point just giving into the process. Look, at she's leaving with a suitcase in her hand. Just giving into the process. I don't know where to go. I'm going to go somewhere better than where I am. And that's part of the physical purge. Like physically having to, to go somewhere else. But then it's almost like being physically sick. The Ten of Wands and the Two of Wands. Like once you release, I feel like, you know, you've ever, like, you know, when you've been really, really sick, knock on wood, <laughs> it's been a while since I've been re like this kind of sick where, you know, gosh, what a thing to talk about right now. I'm going to talk about this. If you forget, let's just like the flu. Let's just keep it as the flu. Let's not talk about the pandemic or anything in that sense, because that's very different. Um, but I have seen it. I mean, I've seen, you know, on the news, people kind of locally that have been in ICU for like two months. And, you know, some of these, and it's guys, guys, you got to watch out for yourself. It seems to really be affecting men worse than women. And some of these guys look like they've lost 50 pounds from 
being in the ICU, like they've lost muscle tone, they've lost um, fat, maybe even a bit of bone density, but it is like that. Like if you've had a really bad flu, you couldn't keep anything in, or it was very minimal, you had a high fever for many days, sweat, and it's almost like, you know, when you, you gotta get up and walk to the bathroom, it's like, oh, you can do, like your muscles feel weak, you feel like you have no strength. And th so that's what I'm leading to because that's what this feels like with this Ten of Wands and this Two of Wands. It feels like when you finally release this, when you're finally over it, it's just easier to sit down and look out the window than it is to walk outside. Like, it's easier to sit down and look out the window than it is to walk outside. And knowing though, knowing I'm getting my strength, knowing that there is there is light in the sky again. But it's almost like learning to walk for the first time again because it's like you, you're redefining your identity. Wow. This is one of those readings where I wish I could give you a hug. But we'd have to wear our PPE. Now, you see, the Seven of Swords with the Fool, taking a leap of faith, I think this was very hard to walk away from. This was very hard to walk away from. It was literally putting your, almost like feel like putting your life, your destiny into the hands of the universe here. Like, so let's see, the Fool card with the Seven of Swords. Wow. Actually, I think that was there. That's that's tough. That's really tough. This is a tough reading. This is really a tough reading. So the Ten of Cups with the King of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, and the Five of Cups. <laughs> I feel like this was a very happy, very stable connection at some point. Um, with the Eight of Wands, it's mo and it moves right into the Five of Cups, like just disappointment, just sadness, sorrow. Wow. But something here didn't work either. I'm not sure who is the one that initiated disconnecting from this relationship. Um... But you know what? It doesn't really matter because I think no matter who is the one that makes the choice, there's still a whole mourning process on both parties' sides. There has, there is, there really is, um, because nobody really wants it to come to that. So regardless of who did, it's just it was yeah. This went from happiness and stability to quickly moving into um, disappointment. The six of swords with the seven of wands. This is almost like praying and hoping for um, to, to go somewhere better here. Like there's nothing else I know what to do at this point is except to kind of hope and pray for this to get somewhere better. Now the Five of Cups with the Hierophant. Let's look at that. The Five of Cups with the Hierophant. There it is. The first one that came out was the devil card. Jeez. The devil, the queen of cups, the world, and the nine of pentacles. Again, it does feel like, um, you know, this five of cups was so disappointing that there's really nothing else to do but to surrender to the universe, to, to, to recognize the little tiny points in life where you have, good, have or see good fortune. And in doing that, that's where you find your, that's where you find like your new beginning. That's where you find your independence. That's where you find love again. 
that's what releases you from this entrapment. The Five of Swords and the Six of Cups. The Five of Swords and the Six of Cups. Huh. There's another Six of Cups waiting. There you go. Because this ended. This, this is the end. This is splitting up the soulmate here. And then we have Temperance, your card, with the Ace of Wands. This actually releases you. This is actually releasing you to pursue what is more for you. And that is something that a lot of times we can't see until we've cleared this, this heavy process. Temperance and the Six of Swords. Temperance and the Six of Swords. Yeah, you have two tens. You have the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands now. So we have the Hanged Man, the Ten of Swords, and the Queen of Wands. This is that this is that little section of the reading where I said it feels like it was almost like this physical purge, um, and also physically moving away from a connection. And it's, it feels like, you know, this took some time. And you almost literally had to feel like you were dead. It's just a horrible thing to say, but I'm just getting that. Like, you just feel dead inside. Like, hard to get up in the morning. Um, hard to think about, like, what it is you want to do in the day. Because, right, like, this... Because it's Ten of Swords, it makes sense why this Eight of Swords is feeling like, to me, it's like rebuilding your identity. It's like rebuilding your identity. And then, but look what comes out is the Queen of Wands. There you are. The Queen of Wands, your energy. We are really meant to be. This didn't work because it wasn't allowing you to be who you're really meant to be. So the Ten of Wands with the Two of Wands. The Ten of Wands with the Two of Wands. The Page of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. It's time to get yourself out. It will be. All right? And it's baby step. Because I did say it feels like it's just easier to sit by the window than to stand up or walk. It's You feel kind of weak almost. Like you've lost weight. Like you've lost muscle mass. Like you've just lost your stamina, your endurance. And you're regaining that again, and you will. And like this page of wands is strong, standing up very strong and assessing life, like looking at my options now, like actually seeing what all your options are, where before you were really buried in something very deep and heavy. You can't see your options when you're buried in something like that. The Ace of Swords is at the bottom. So your truth and clarity is coming out here. Wow, I can't believe how much, like so many cards came out out of the Energy Oracle deck and it just, the whole reading continued on that. So um, my heart goes out to you, like this seems like a really difficult process that you've been through and um, many, many people go through situations like this, but this one feels very heavy, guys, very heavy um, and just know that it, it's going to get better and you're going to be a lot stronger at the end of this. Um... And you're really going to find things that are really, truly meant for you. And you will never go through something like this again. I can't see that happening ever, ever, really. Yeah. You're going to recognize it a mile away. <laughs> you won't even, it won't even, your vibrational energy will be so in tune to what that was. You won't even come close to it again. Not even close. All right. Thank you so much, Sagittarius, for let, letting me do that reading for you. Until next time, absolutely do be more gentle with yourself, okay? Bye.